What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I'll talk about things that really have me excited about playing Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I'm looking forward to the beta. I'm looking forward to the game's release. Now, of course, these are my opinions. These things could change between now and then. You may disagree with me or agree with me. But there's a lot of stuff that I saw during the reveal event that I really liked. And I even went back and watched a couple different people's uh, kind of point of view uh, whether it be pro players, streamers, YouTubers. I went back and watched some VODs on Twitch to kind of just see how everyone's experience was. And I picked up on a lot of things that I really liked about the game. A lot of the stuff is stuff that has been in the game in the past that is returning. And some of these things are new. The first thing, of course, is the redesign or kind of how they have redone the whole flinch mechanic. Now, I made a video talking about this yesterday. Tony Flame, of course, which is one of the Treyarch lead designers for the game, went on to Twitter to talk about uh, Flinch a little bit more and exactly what they're doing to it. I'm not going to go into great detail. I will pop the video up in the top corner right now if you guys would like to check that out if you did not see it. But Flinch is being redesigned and in my opinion is for the better. Flinch has always been a pain over the years. Some people like it, some people don't, but it's always just been an issue to me and I'm really glad that they're reworking the whole Flinch mechanic. The next thing that I noticed during the reveal that was really nice in my opinion was the map design for the maps we got to see during the reveal event i really like the look of all of them now of course i'm sure some of them will be fan favorites some of them will be not liked as much that's kind of how it goes with every call of duty title but the main thing was the color schemes when it comes to Treyarch games i don't know what it is about their games but i always like the colors of the map it's always very bright very vibrant you know the maps just kind of pop when you look at them uh, maybe it's just because I'm getting old and now the Infinity Ward games just kind of look washed out to me and the colors are dark and it's hard to see players at distances. I never have that issue with Treyarch games, but that was one thing that I was really happy to see was nice looking map design and also those bright colors kind of that what you expect to see kind of color scheme wise from a Treyarch game. Another thing that I did notice during the reveal event was the spawn system seems to be back to kind of that classic spawn system that we've always expected in Call of Duty games. Now, don't get me wrong, every Call of Duty game has had spawn issues. We all complain about the spawns. I don't think there's anybody on the face of the planet that has never complained about a spawn in Call of Duty. But something about Modern Warfare spawns the system this year, just, I don't know what it is. I do not like it. I could not tell you how many times I have spawned in a game and died as soon as I spawned in before I even take a step how I have spawned into someone that has just killed me and I will spawn in right back in the same situation. The spawn situation this year is just not my personal favorite. I do not like it. I have not liked it since the start. And I was glad to see more of that classic style spawn system we've seen in past games like Black Ops 4. You know, and some other, of course, Infinity Ward games even where the, the spawn system is a lot better than it has been this year in Modern Warfare. So I was glad to see, from what I could tell in the reveal, that spawn system being a little bit more normal and I will uh, definitely be happy to see or definitely be looking forward to see how that spawn system works when the beta is released. The next thing that I did notice was I th thought it was kind of interesting that they brought back the gunsmith. I really liked the gunsmith idea but they also kind of threw their own spin in, in into the gunsmith idea I guess. Treyarch went ahead and said you know let's do the gunsmith thing again a lot of people like the gunsmith and I thought it was a great idea in modern warfare it was one of the best things about modern warfare the one thing that I don't really like about the gunsmith of course is there's tons of attachments in game that seem to really never get used but at the same time Treyarch said you know this was a good idea let's do it people like it but let's also put our own take on it and go ahead and kind of add the wild cards back to it so almost like a hybrid gunsmith pick 10 style system and I'm really looking forward to kind of hopping in and making different loadouts classes with the, with the gunsmith and the ability to also have wild cards equipped as well. The one thing I know a lot of people will be happy to hear, of course, is Dead Silence is going to return. Of course, this is going to be called Ninja. It's been Ninja in past games, been Dead Silence in some games. But the lack of having a constant Dead Silence perk in Modern Warfare was a thing that I really did not like. The game's sound is so loud, your footsteps are very loud, your teammates' footsteps are very loud, and the ability to only be able to use that, you know, dead silence perk that is available every so often once it's off cooldown is kind of disappointing. I really didn't like that about Modern Warfare. Some people may not mind it, but it just wasn't, you know, my favorite thing. Of course, it took some while to get used to, a while to get used to, but once I got used to it, it wasn't that big of a deal. But I really prefer not to hear my own footsteps. That's one reason I really like dead silence. And from everything that I've heard, 
It's not completely silent. It's kind of like it has been in some past COD games where it just kind of muffles your footsteps. People will still be able to hear you if you sprint up on them, but it's going to make your footsteps a lot quieter. So I was glad to see that that was going to return. Uh, another thing that is returning that has been in past games is the way the ghost perk works. Uh, of course, you know ghost in Modern Warfare will uh, keep you off the radar no matter what you're doing. If you're sitting still, if you're moving, whatever the case may be. And I understand some people like to play slower. I understand some people like to camp. It's just how Call of Duty is. It just is what it is. But at the same time, I prefer the ghost perk to be uh, you know, only to work when you're moving. And that is what's going to be the case in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So ghost will only work if you're on the move. And the reason I like it is because I like faster paced games. So it just kind of picks up the game speed in my opinion. I'm not sure how strict this will be. I'm kind of curious to see about that in the beta. Sometimes in the past it's been a little too strict in my opinion because you can't even stop to reload and you'll show up on the mini map. I, I don't think it needs to be that extreme, but I do like the idea of that kind of ghost perk being there, uh, being available to use, but only really active when you're moving around the map. Another thing that I thought was pretty neat was something I talked about in a video uh, last week or the week before was uh, the idea of the attachments showing percentages uh, when you attach them to your weapon or when you place them on a weapon. And I really like this idea because I think it will let people understand or kind of make people understand more how some of these attachments work. Uh, you'll be able to see percentages like if it's going to make your accuracy better, your range better, your handling better, or vice versa if it's going to make them worse. And I think this is going to be something that's going to really improve a lot of people's classes, improve a lot of people's gameplay. Because they're going to know exactly what's going on with each individual attachment they place on their weapon. As long as these things are working correctly and it shows the right percentages and it's actually accurate, I think this will be a big, big step forward for Call of Duty just in general if they continue to do this year in and year out. And last but not least, the, the last two things that I really noticed during the reveal event that really made me excited to play Black Ops Cold War was, of course, the minimap is back. The minimap looked like it was a nice size. You could see a good bit of the map. It's that classic minimap that we're all used to. I know some people liked this year without the minimap. Some people didn't. But I was glad to see that kind of classic minimap back because I've played COD since COD 2 and uh, really started playing a lot of multiplayer in COD 4. And I was just used to the minimap, so it was kind of odd this year getting used to that you know, situation that we have here in Modern Warfare with the minimaps, not that classic style. So I was glad to see that has returned. And I was also glad to see medals popping up when people were playing in the reveal event. Medals is always a cool thing in Call of Duty and I always like to be able to see and take kind of track of what medals I have earned. Those were just some things guys that I was really excited about for uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet please do so. If you are a subscriber make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. Be sure to check out everything down in the description. The community discord, my twitter and of course the affiliate here on the channel GT Racing and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.